to my Ashley. If you would have told me that I would go to a bar in Providence with my guys and find my wife, I would have laughed at you. But the night I saw you, I knew that that was possible. I remember being there and seeing you wondering and hoping you didn't come with someone. I also remember you finding me later that night when you noticed how I felt about you and you told me you're still my number one. John, thank you for coming into my life. Thank you for challenging me. Thank you for believing in me. Even when sometimes I don't believe in myself. You are my rock, my soulmate, and my best friend. I want you to continue dreaming big and just know I'm always going to be on your side, cheering you on, because that's what you have done for me. No matter how far, no matter where we are, I'm going to be right there. Since I was a little boy, my parents always taught me to pray for things that I wanted in my life and to work hard. And I can honestly say that if I never prayed, I would never have met you. God answered my prayer, and I know that you are the angel he made just for me. Every day we are blessed with a fresh start and a new outlook on life. I would like to take a moment to thank Jonathan and Ashley for allowing me to officiate their wedding today as Justice of the Peace. Or as Jonathan told me, because I was doing it for free. <laughs> so now that we got that out of the way. <laughs> Marriage is a marathon. It takes endurance, stamina, dedication, and a passion to succeed, even when you feel like hitting a wall and you can't go on any longer. And as any good long distance runner knows, you have to pace yourself. On this day of your marriage, you stand somewhat apart from all other human beings. You stand within the charm circle of your love, and this is how it should be. But love is not meant to be the possession of two people alone. Rather, it should serve as a source of common energy, as a form in which you find the strength to live your lives with courage, but from this day onward, you must come closer together than ever before. You must love one another in sickness and in health, for better or worse. But at the same time, your love should give you the strength to stand apart, to seek out your unique destinies, to make your special contribution to the world, which is always part of us and more than us. In accordance with the law of Connecticut, and by virtue of the authority vested in me, by the law of Connecticut, I do pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride, sir. Today, we all gather here to celebrate a lifetime of love and happiness for these two beautiful people. You two have been battle tested to the utmost and you still came out on top. The future is bright for you two and I'm excited to see what's to come. Life is an adventure, so dare it. A duty, perform it. An opportunity, take it. A journey, complete it. A promise. Fulfill it. A puzzle? Solve it. 
a goal, achieve it. Always keep in mind that it, as individuals, you two are very special, but together you're unstoppable. May God continue to bless you. Jonathan and Ashley Smart. Love you guys.